Well, it's very interesting. You can do better than that. I think you settled for the idea and didn't really carry it out. Thanks. I thought the New York Times already had a critic. Why bother to talk to me if you don't listen? It's better than getting depressed. Why you keep me around? You remind me of my youth. I am your youth. Don't remind me. No guts, huh? What are you doing here? I'm like you. Curious. Not sure this is the right place. I could hardly read the number downstairs. It's her, all right. Only an artist could live in a dump like this. I thought we'd get mugged in the hall. You showed me something, though. The way you handled those stairs? Pretty good for an old geezer. Do me a favor, go away. And miss this? Not a chance. Please, I'd rather not have you around. I'm afraid you don't have much choice. Promise not to interfere? That depends. On what? On whether or not you start making a fool of yourself. Thanks for your confidence. Sorry. I've just watched it too many times. New York's a great city. Why don't you go out and see the sights? I hear they got a great zoo. <laughs> You're just wasting your breath. Whose idea was it to see her anyway? It's not the point. Don't be ridiculous. I'm the one who knows her. Which one of us did she write to? Who's she gonna remember? You or me? It's unfair. Of course it's you, but it's really me. Look, I'm having enough trouble with this. Be quiet. You're stalling. I am not. Then ring the bell. She's not expecting me. Don't be dumb. Her letter was a come on. She didn't say anything about me coming here. I thought she knew something about women. Let's go, Ace. You're a real big shot, aren't you? I try. I'm the one who has to go in there, not you. Look, let's compromise. It's not easy for either of us. She's not home. I hear someone. Hey, don't you hear the music? Gibson. Who? Paul. Paul Gibson. Oh, my God. Open it. He won't recognize me. Of course he will, Carrie. He's not here by accident. You want him to leave. Where are you going? I'll wait downstairs. No, don't leave me here alone. Sorry, I don't think I can handle it. Come back.
carry. Mr. Gibson, I presume. I didn't know people lived in warehouses. Hard to believe I'm here. Hard to believe good or hard to believe bad? Thinking about it. Time's up. Don't be stupid. You're embarrassing the man and yourself. Could we settle for curious? Watch it, Carrie. This guy's no pushover. Well, you were always a gentleman, so I expect the best. Mm -hmm. What are you waiting for? His ID? Ask him in. Well, if you're not an imposter, please come in. You've been busy. So have you. You won't break, please. Look around. I was in my dentist's office. I saw a piece about you in Connoisseur magazine. You've done very well. Well, that's one way of looking at it. The poor man just got here. Don't cry on his shoulder. I have a show next month. Congratulations. Here's the flyer. It's in Soho, a very good gallery. I appreciated your letter. It was very thoughtful of you. How did you hear about my wife? I still subscribe to the local paper. I thought you'd burned all the bridges. Well, a few grew back. Sorry, I never met her. Hypocrite. Oh, well, let's just call it mixed emotions. Sorry? I mean, it must be very difficult for you now, being alone. It takes getting used to. You know all about that. I was only married for two years. Sorry, I didn't realize. And I've had a life since then. I had a life before and I've had a life after. I've had a damn good life. Sure you yeah. have. Well, maybe you've forgotten. I'm an artist, remember? <laughs> Wild parties, all those crazy people I run around with. That was a long time ago. Not so long and I have not retired. And if there's an empty space, there's a hundred ways to fill it. Better call time out. <sighs> Excuse me, I uh, got to get out of this. Poor man. He doesn't know what's hit him. Why does he look so damn successful? I need coffee. Black. Hey. How's it going? Not so well, huh? Wow. What? She's different. It's been years, for God's sake. Yeah, I know. I just thought maybe, you know, maybe she'd be a little more interested. Grow up, will you? People change. Too damn fast, if you ask me. Well, nobody's perfect, so shut up. You're just gonna leave him sitting there? What's the matter? No communication here? No sugar, right? And no cream. Look, I didn't mean to offend you. I suppose not. I just don't want you to think that I'm moping around waiting for life to happen. Somehow I never thought that was your problem. Mm, but it was yours. Getting you to take chances, shake things up. She's nuts. I was never that dull. Don't be so sure. I still get angry when I think about it. You seem to have survived. So have you. I read you were going to run for mayor. That was until I had a poll taken that said people don't trust bankers. <sighs> Who'd say a dumb thing like that? How about you? Never. No? What about the autopsy they did on a banker, but they couldn't find his heart? <sighs> Paul, that was only a joke. My father never forgave you for that one. Watch it, sweetie. He's got a memory like an elephant. I've got some serious talking to do, so why don't you get lost? What was that? Uh, nothing. Anyway, uh, my husband left, not me. So if you think I retired to a nunnery, forget it. I've been doing fine all these years. I think coming here was a mistake. Who needs this? Glad to hear that, Carrie. It's good to have a busy life. 
I suppose I shouldn't have stopped by like this, but as I happened to be in town and your address was on the envelope, I thought I'd take a chance. I'll take a rain check on the coffee. Carrie. Come on. Good luck on your show. I hope it's a success. I'm glad to have seen you again. I'd look forward to it. I do like your work. Very much. Stop him. Come on, let's go. Take care of yourself. Carrie, Paul. I know this is crazy. Yes? Since you're here, could you do me a favor? Of course. The taxi. I'm sorry? You remember it. My taxi, my English taxi, the Austin. What about it? I need your help. <laughs> you still have that wreck. Oh, mind your language, it's my baby. I don't believe it. It's impossible. That thing belongs in a junkyard. Well, it's sitting in a garage just down the block. Talk about loyalty. That thing must have cost you a fortune. Sending to England for parts all this time? Well, I'm devoted to it, but it is getting old. You mean it doesn't run anymore? Oh, it's fine. It, it, it just stalls a lot. Do you have time to take a look? You were always so good with it. Give it a decent burial, will you? I am never going to give it up. How come you never treated me that well? It just stalls, that's it? Nothing else. Runs like a dream. Paul, oh, please. I'm lost without it. i got to see this. It's like going back to my childhood. You make it sound like reincarnation. I, uh, I, I don't want you to get dirty. Yeah, you'll need some rags. Will these do? Sure, thanks. It's uh, two doors down. Tell them I sent you. I'll give the patient a look. Recovery. The ball was going out of bounds and you saved it just in time. That damn car's always breaking down, thank God. What are you doing? Getting ready for round two? Isn't it obvious? No. I mean, why are you so angry with him? I don't know, it just got away from me for a minute. For a moment I saw him back then. He had everything and everything all figured out. He always thought he knew what I was feeling. What I should do. He was so damn sure of himself. Are you sorry you wrote the letter? Well, are you? Not sure if the condolences were for me or him. He seems old. He looks pretty alive to me. He was always good at sports. Captain of the lacrosse team at Princeton. I hope he knows what he's doing. I thought you said he was mechanical. Oh, men like to hear that. But I don't let them touch a thing in here. Okay, now? I wouldn't use so much paint. You will. I wish you hadn't written that note. I think I'm getting cold feet. Then you don't really like him. I thought dear Abby was a much older woman. Well, do you? Do I what? Like him. Don't mix me up. How do you know anything at your age anyway? So many things we're gonna do together. And it all fell apart. Now he's different. I'm different. How can I know him? All I can do is try to remember. I can't even be sure of that anymore. Something else about my makeup? Something about you. What's that supposed to mean? I wasn't the same as you are now. Of course you were. No. Something went wrong, I wouldn't give up. I tried to have hope. You've lost that. 
baby, give me a break. It's been a lifetime. I don't think it works like that. If I'd given up, none of this would be here. Not even you. Don't be cute. If you don't like what you see, who's to blame? Who's been taking care of the Austin? A butcher? Didn't take long to find the problem. The timing is way off. Is that all? Thanks. I, I thought it was something critical. It sure surprised me. Looks in damn good shape. Mm. Not the way it was when I took care of it. How would you like these? Oh, I'll take them. It was uh, sweet of you to help. Thanks. Oh, you have uh, dirtied your shirt. Oh, when I was under the hood, I couldn't resist fooling around with it. It's like I was sitting in it yesterday, in a time tunnel, speeding down Milford Avenue with me screaming at you to slow down. <laughs> what is the damnedest feeling? I always said you should put a meter in it. We could have made a fortune. People used to get whiplash, turning their heads to stare at us. How many tickets for speeding did you get? Oh, I stopped counting. You're the only girl I ever let drive. Oh, nice of you, considering it was my car. Besides, I was the better driver. The hell she was. Well, if it makes you feel better to think so, be my guest. <laughs> what are you doing in there? I've got to clean that shirt. Please, don't bother. I'll get it done later. Oh, no, you're not walking out of here looking like that. Why don't you sell the Austin? Would you sell your heirlooms? If they were costing me money and maintenance, I sure would. <laughs> Spoken like a true banker. Which reminds me, if you ever need financial advice, all you have to do is call. I'll be happy to help. Oh, that brings back memories. Of me? My mother. She kept me well-groomed. Used to look for nits in my hair when I came home from school. I wasn't much like her, was I? More like natural enemies, I'd say. Well, let's compare my technique to hers. Am I blind, or is she making a pass? I can't believe you're doing this. Murph's art is appearing. He's repressed. Can't you tell? He thinks every girl is his mother. It's a beautiful shirt, such soft material. She's much more experienced. She'd never do that to me. Ease up, girl. Mm, it's gone right through. It's a striptease. Carrie. Uh, now, stop being silly. I'm not letting you walk out of here looking like that. Not when it's my fault that your shirt got soiled. You're getting me wet. Uh, don't worry, you're not going to get pneumonia. Look, why don't you just take the shirt off? It'd be so much easier. Please, don't. I can manage. You're behaving like a schoolboy. It's not me, it's him. I really have to go now. Why didn't you uh, send me the bill for the shirt? No need. It's almost all gone now. Thanks. Thanks very much. Glad I stopped by. It's been good seeing you. There he goes, Carrie. Bye-bye. Stay a while. You only just got here. I really have to leave. What are you going to do now? He's already fixed your car. I have some business to look after. What's there to lose? Stay a while. A minute ago, you were pushing me out. Make up your mind, will you? It was always like that. I can make you lunch. Please, don't bother. Oh, I've become a terrific cook. I could um, whip up a mean omelet. Interested? Thanks. I'm not that hungry. It's very kind of you. Oh, the house special. Watch out. She's up to something. Go for it, hon. Carrie, is something the matter? Paul, do me a favor. Just look this way. I it'll only take a second. What's she doing? What are you doing? Give me a right profile. Carrie. Please, this is important. Now, just look to the right. And now to the left again. <gasps> it's perfect. I can't believe I didn't see it before. See what? What are you doing? I don't know why I didn't spot it when you came in. It must have... Must have been the excitement of seeing you again. I don't believe it. She's pulling the old femme fatale bit. Does she expect us to fall for this? Poor man. He's a dead duck. Your head. My head. 
What's wrong with it? Nothing. That's just it. It's perfect. It's just exactly what I've been looking for. I've uh, just got a, a new commission. And um, I'd like you to model for me. Oh. <laughs> it's, um, it's a sculpture for American industry. And, and you fit perfectly into it. Because what I need is, is someone who's mature, but whose face is still turned to the future. Are you serious? You want my head? This head. Paul, when did you look at yourself last? I mean, I don't know where it came from, but there's a lot of strength there. How about maturity? Wisdom. Maturity, wisdom. The woman has no shame. Will you shut up? What do you say? I'm a banker. No one will ever know. Complete confidentiality. You see all those things? An artist always sees past the surface. And you can sculpt it? Well, it won't be Mount Rushmore, but close. She means a lamb ready for the slaughter. How much time would it take? Oh, for now, all I need is a sketch. Then I can get to work on the head. Of course, it would mean you coming back again. I think I'd feel foolish. It's very vain. Well, a little vanity never hurt anyone. Besides, without it, most museum walls would be pretty empty. What do you say? I have to admit, it's tempting. You know, immortality and all that. Get real, will you? It's not a face that launched a thousand ships. Well... Well, yourself, is it a go? All those attributes you're going to sculpt. Maturity, wisdom, and... all those other perceptive things. Every single one of them. Think you can manage to throw in a few good looks as well? Mm. Now, that'll be the challenge. No challenge, no victory. Let me make one phone call, and I'm yours. Not bad. You're a very good subject. You want to take a break? I'm all right. I'm meditating. When did that start? Just a few months ago. You were the guru? I don't see that. It's not like that. This friend of Anne started studying it after her husband died, said it gave her some inner peace. Thought I'd give it a try. So that accounts for it. What? That settled look. I thought it was a man at peace with himself. It's more likely that it could be exhaustion. Not you. No? <laughs> oh, I, you're moving. Sorry. You never knew what giving in meant. Put it down to normal wear and tear. Anything special? You lose count after a while. One day you realize all the expectations are gone. It's hard to get out of bed. That sounds like a cue for a drink if I ever heard one. Maybe a glass of wine, thanks. I thought you'd never ask. Uh-uh. No peeking till I'm finished. Damn. Finish the bottle. I'll go downstairs and get one. No, it's all right. I have a wine cellar in my bedroom. Chilled and temperature controlled. Very thoughtful of you. Mm, don't go away. Ah, uh, oh, ah. Uh. I thought you'd have your clothes off by now. Don't talk like that. Why not? I thought all models posed naked. Not this one. I'd have had my pants off in a second. You see me in the shower recently? Got a point. It could be a turnoff. Has she changed that much? I see signs. 
flashes what she used to be. That's sad, eh? No, oh, it's kind of nice. Cheer up. You figure it out. I feel a sense of betrayal. What are you talking about? She's running all over the place, having the time of her life. Oh, Carrie Ann. Oh, come on. Give yourself a break. The poor woman's dead. You're too young to understand. Cop out. Don't be such a big shot. You can't kid me. You're scared, plain and simple. Vintage champagne. I've been saving it for a special occasion. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's Dom Perignon. You're flattered. You should be. Of the pop. I don't believe it. What? You kept it. Oh, I never throw away old records. You never know when they might be valuable. How often you play this one? Which is it? <sighs> Funny, I thought I threw that one away years ago. They must have made this bottle to christen a battleship. If it's our original record, it probably has a scratch in the middle. Invitation to the dance. Paul, we have work to do. Come. We can't go back. I know. It's too long ago. Close your eyes. Just promise you won't step on my feet again. If you won't bump me with your knees. I thought you didn't believe in flowers and all that girl stuff. I took the night off. Good. Makes things easier for you, right? Mm, where are we going with that one? <laughs> Paul, I don't care about the flowers. Not really. There's something different about you tonight. Is there? Like you're sparkling. It's the lights. It's you getting in my eyes. It's a song. I asked them to play it. Okay. I could dig a hint. Vive la France is in our future. Now, will you tell the travel agency to stop sending me those brochures? I don't have time to read anything else. You better start reading them. You're gonna need them. When did this happen? It's going to. It came this morning. What's it say? You took French in college. I said I studied it. I never said I learned it. <laughs> What's in it? I've been accepted at the Academy in Paris. The Academy? 
I didn't even know you applied. Hey, that's that's great. Congratulations. You've got the finest teachers. I'm very lucky. What do you mean lucky? You're good. You're damn good. I I know I should have told you. I'm it's sorry. A, no, it's a nice surprise. I was afraid you'd stop me. Why would I do that? Because you disapprove. Nice girls don't do things like running off to Paris. I would have been nice if we talked about it. Paul, we know each other. I think I keep hoping one of us will change. Opposites attract. Is that all we are? Carrie, this can still happen. The Queen Mary sails next week for the last time. Let's do something. Let's sail with her. You're trembling. Because this is our last chance. We can start our lives over there. Get an apartment in Paris. Hey, hey, slow down. Slow down. I'm getting hit by a runaway train here. If we stay here, it's life by the numbers. You go into your father's bank, I have children, and in ten years, if we're that lucky, we both see a shrink. Who doesn't love the idea of Paris? For a honeymoon, maybe. After that, we come back home. Here. This is where we belong. Paul, don't you ever dream? You ever think maybe there's something else you'd rather do? Why not try? I'm living a dream right now. I like what I have. Honey, be real. What do I do over there? Teach English to French kids? I guess it's both our faults. <sighs> it's no one's fault, and nothing, nothing is going to happen to us. It's happening. Now. Remember that night I fell down the stairs and you swept me off the sidewalk? And my feet. Even with your bloody nose, I fell in love with him. Where is he? Where is that man now? He's right here. Listen, this is a proposal of marriage. I can almost break my neck climbing in your window. We can walk down the aisle and cut away in gown, or, or we can elope to Mongolia. What's your pleasure? None of the above. Okay. I can't be what I am or want to be. You won't let me. It's only what you expect. I'm right, aren't I? I can try. I'm afraid. I really am. And that surprises you. The truth is, I'm afraid you're going to stop me. I want good things for us. I'd like to see you happy. But each day, more and more, all I see is you slipping away, and I don't know how to stop it. We used to talk about our, our future, our house in the country, our children. I don't remember that. I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. I once heard memory described as a miracle. For me, the real miracle is being able to forget. Except when you forget the wine. You're right. That's unforgivable. Please. Cocktails for two. Toast. 
two old friends. I can't hurt. I was thinking. Yes? Nothing. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. No, you didn't. I thought I heard a train of thought go by. It's too much to say. You're defying a law of nature. You haven't asked me about my wife. Did you love her? I tried to. No need to apologize. Who did you marry? I don't think you ever knew her. Well, then I'm at a double disadvantage. I always try not to speak ill of the dead. Well, let me inhibit you. She was a lovely person. Loyal. Faithful. How nice. Sterling qualities. You weren't there. I always find this helps my arthritis. <laughs> I have it in my wrist. An occupational disease. That's an expensive therapy. Oh, I have it in my back as well. I got it in my knees. Not that I lived on them. <laughs> well, help yourself to the anesthetic. I think it's time we cross the Great Divide. A mutual suicide pact? <laughs> Just because we both have arthritis? If my postmortem is over, it's your turn. Under FCC rules, I'm entitled to equal time. Well, my life won't take very long. I'm sure, it's been very exciting. Glamorous. After all, you've made a great success. I'd always meant to write and say how proud you made me. What stopped you? Your mother? She talked you out of me, didn't she? I'm sorry, that was unkind. That never really happened, you know. Like a lot of other things. I think she even admired you. Your free spirit. You've known about me, what my life has been. I, I talk to people. How long did you wait? For what? To marry. Too long. Mm. What? Nothing. I suppose we were so busy listening to ourselves. We never listened to each other. What's the use? The past is always a lie. All we do is keep reinventing ourselves. I wish I could have... done more. Not worked so hard. Lived in different places. Small, mundane things compared to what I really missed. Not being with you. Way back then, I thought I wanted my life. The dumb thing is, I thought I knew what that was. I always thought if there was something you had to do, then do it. Waiting was always too late. This was a rotten idea. I'm sorry, it's... It didn't work out. It's, um... Bummer. In spades. But you wrote me. Spur of the moment. That was always my problem. You said. Still I came. Oh, it's no use. It's been too many years. Too many dreams. Your head is going to be hanging around here for the next couple of months. Any uh, second thoughts? I don't mind. You'll have 
have someone to talk with. Remember all the things we wanted to say. All the questions we never got to ask or answer. Paul? About a commission for my sculpture. There is none. I just wanted you to stay. I knew that. When you lie, corner of your mouth turns up just a little. I stayed because I wanted to be here. I loved being young with you. Sunday. Sometimes marriage can be murder. You bet. Ray Milan plots his wife's deadly demise in Alfred Hitchcock's Dial M for Murder. Now don't miss the late night laughs at the Improv, next on A&E. It's time well spent.